Good morning, tubers. Welcome back for another adventure. The other day when I wanted to bring this thing back to life, I discovered very quickly that the electrical system is just completely dead. But I wanted to know if the motor was any good. And you guys know that I have a portable CDI pack that I do that troubleshooting with. Actually, I own two of those, an older one, the first one I built, the first generation, and then the second generation. The second generation one I use is the one I actually like better. The spark is a little, um, a little stronger and the um, timing curve is a little better. It tends not to kick back as much. Well, unfortunately, it was dead, and I have to do some troubleshooting on it. I figured I'd bring you guys along so you could discover what I discover. So, here are my two generations of CDI box. Um, I went with longer leads. This is the newer one, right? It just makes it so much easier to hook up. Um, this one is based on a 6-pin GY6. 12 volt CDI. This one is using the 4 pin CDI and once again I prefer the newer generation box. If you pop it open they look almost the same other than the number of pins on the CDI unit. Right, This one if you unplug it though there are six wires on the harness only four go into the CDI. You have plus 12 volts you have ground you have the pulse generator input to trigger this thing, and you have the um, the spark coil output. So there's only four wires. Makes it a lot simpler. So that's the CDI. You got a switch to turn the power on and off. You got the um, spark coil. You got batteries. You got a wire harness, and you got a box, right? Anyway, so this thing died, and what the most common cause of death is is um, one of the wires come loose quite honestly from um, I not that I like to but I drop this thing fairly frequently it kind of gets you know tossed around by the leads and all so um, what I'm gonna do is go through and just quickly probe all the wires to make sure that they're still hooked up and uh, you do that you just unplug this guy and once again trace the wires out make sure you have continuity to the plug if I have continuity to this plug, then my next issue is the CDI um, blew out or died of something. By the way, a quick spoiler alert. A couple of times ago when I was using this to troubleshoot, I kind of messed up. I had the two leads going to the um, pulse generator, so there was no issue there but the lead to the engine case came loose, right? Which means all the power for the spark was going through the um, pulse generator lead. So just quickly, I think I blew up the CDI. So when doing the testing on this, not all that difficult. You just plug the lead into the ground wire, the green wire, and then you just hop around. You make sure that these are hooked up to ground. You make sure when you uh, check out the black and red with the switch on, you get 12 volts. You make sure the uh, black and yellow, it's about 0.3 ohms, right? So you just hop around, make sure everything is where it should be, and all is good. So when I check this, my grounds are good, my 12 volts is good, my point 0.3 is good, and I checked the blue and um, white wire, which right now is going to nothing to make sure I have continuity. All of that is good, which leads me to believe I have a bad CDI. I buy these kits which have all of the above in there. They have the CDI unit, they have the wire harness, and they have the um, uh, spark coil. So that's basically what this is made out of and there we are. So I just opened this up and swapped them out made sure I marked this one bad right 
and I'm just going to hang on to that for now. In the olden days, when I used to be a failure analyst, we had equipment that would remove the plastic, and then with my electron microscope, I would be able to look in and see what the problem is. Those days are gone. Anyway, so let me put this back together, and we'll see if it works. Okay, I, uh, I put gas into it. This is the new CDI box. I'm going to pop this up on the stand here. See if this thing will fire right up for us, right? So, CDI box on. Jump pack on. Let's see what this wants to do. This thing burns a lot of fuel, so it's already out. I just want to mention one more thing about the particular CDI that comes in this kit. The advance is, or the, um, the place that it puts the spark before your engine starts happens to be a good place on this particular CDI right and if you put the spark um, after top dead center you actually start losing power because it takes some time for the fuel to ignite so what they discovered is you put the spark just a little bit before top dead center so as the piston uh, crosses top dead center the fuel ignites and pushes it down for this particular CDI the one that comes with this kit and once again I'll put the link on it happens to put the spark in a good spot and um, even the curve seems to be real nice seems that most engines like it for the CDI that I put in this old box. Um, it's more the GY6 version. And I don't know if the GY6 has a longer stroke on it or, or what exactly the story is. It works, the engine runs, but it doesn't care. For, it, it's not quite as happy with it. Let's go with it that way. The other nice thing about this particular um, CDI, it seems to have a really, really nice, strong spark. It seems that the spark is a little stronger. I can't quantify that. I didn't put a meter to it, but just when I look at them side by side, it seems that the spark is stronger. One last thing. I think I blew up the CDI in here. And the way I did it is when I put everything together, I knocked the wire off the uh, head here. So I don't think the engine was all that well grounded. The only ground the engine was getting was through the pulse generator. So, um, and I didn't blow it up on this one. I blew it up on another machine. So I, I have the feeling the CDI failed and it was my fault. I think I broke it. I blew it up. So if you do have a bad CDI, scratch a big bad onto it or take it and throw it away. Do not keep it around. I really suggest just throwing it away, you know, smashing it with a rock and throwing it away because You'll be amazed how many times a bad part will cycle through and, you know, screw up all your troubleshooting. All right, I just want to finish this up with saying, when it came to troubleshooting all-terrain vehicles, figuring out their value, bringing them back to life and all, there's been nothing more valuable than this portable CDI box. It really, really helps me out. And if you guys are going to do this, I recommend getting one, building one. Anyway, I want to thank you all for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe. 
please remember to keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and get out and enjoy every day. Bye now.